I was born January 4th, 1915, in the middle of the World War. My father was a soldier and he didn't see me before I was four years old. Uh, Oberamstadt was a small village of 7,000 people. 71 Jewish people lived there. And uh, there was no difference between uh, our religion or the people. And uh, we kids, we mixed with everyone else in the neighborhood. We played in the neighborhood. We went to school in the neighborhood. My father had a butcher shop there. And uh, the only butcher shop who, sell, who sold meat, all the other butcher shops had uh, pork and stuff. First there was a gymnastic and then I uh, started a little bit in running and jumping. And uh, this ended pretty soon too. So I went to uh, Darmstadt. There was a, a Jewish sports club, Schild Darmstadt. We uh, competed every Sunday uh, against other Jewish sports clubs. And in every city, I visited every city except Hamburg. I was never in Hamburg, so. After the Americans were on board of the Queen Mary to go to Germany to participate in the Olympics, they said, well, Jewish people cannot participate for Germany. And that was it. What's the way of life? We continued till the, the 38s when they closed down everything. This was in 35, in June in 35, when I went to the Olympic uh, tryouts. Bielefeld was bombed out and they needed uh, workers in Bielefeld. So they transferred us to Bielefeld and uh, we had to take the rest of the bombed out houses down. That's what we did. Before we built the uh, air shelters, then we had to take out the rest of the, the city <laughs> what was bombed out. That lasted till about, uh, I think, March the 3rd of 43, when they arrested us all again. I mean, we were there, we, we didn't go anyplace, and uh, transported us to Auschwitz. Little did we know what was in front of us, what happened because it was, nobody came back. We, we knew what was going on. You see the dead bodies around you all the time, or people you know, they jump to the electric fence and get electrocuted. You see them getting shot every day when we march to work, and the people, they just got tired of it, they jumped out of the, uh, out of the marching order and they just shot them, I say. In January, the Russians came close by. We, we heard the uh, shooting all night long. They marched us out of the camp. And uh, January the 12th, snowing, cold, cold. And we marched and marched. We had to, uh, to pull the wagons for the, the guards, where they had all their, their clothes and their stuff then. And we marched there for I think, a couple of days, day or night. If somebody died, they put them on a the, uh, on the cart. If they had enough people, they put them on the side, put gasoline over and burn them up. See, so if we finally came to Gleibitz, and then they put us in railroad cars to Buchenwald, and then the Americans came from the south. They put us. 5,000 people in cattle cars to Dachau. So they couldn't go anymore from Buchenwald to Dachau. We went from Buchenwald to Czechoslovakia, down to Austria, and back to Germany again to Buchenwald. And I was shot there, and uh, I have no memory about Dachau, except when I woke up, I was in bed. And I stayed there. The Americans took care of my wound, on my left leg, and I stayed here till November. These kids that took, uh, at the free time, they did some research at, uh, on Oberamstadt. The history of Oberamstadt is very old. It's a very old history. And so they came across on their research about the Jewish people and what happened to the Jewish people. So they have for years already, on the 27th of January, a memory of the liberation of Auschwitz by the Russians. So there came 
across myself, my brother, the whole family, and I figured out maybe we can honor them or somewhere show that we appreciate them now. The kids they don't know anything about it. They, they, they might know about the Hitler's uh, regime and everything, but what happened actually, because nobody wants to talk about it, see? And there, like the professor I asked, he said, the kids are very anxious to uh, ask you questions and not be the answer. So how, how it works out, I don't know. It right. might be a step in the right direction, but mm -hmm. who knows? I don't know all these people. They, they're strange to me. I'm strange to them. But they, they seem to be very interested in what happened in the 40s. At, at least they're interested to know. That's a, that's a big deal already, see.